Muda, Muri, and Mura are called the three M's. These three Japanese terms were developed by Taichi Ono to describe different types of wasteful activity. Muda means unnecessary and reflects the so-called seven types of waste that we will be talking about next. Mura means unbalanced or uneven. Fluctuation in customer demand, variation of cycle times for different operations or operators are examples of mura or unevenness. Hijunka, which is a Japanese word that means leveling, um, is a concept that addresses mura by creating consistency or evenness. Muri means to overburden. When people or machines are utilized for more than 100% to finish their task, they are overburdened. This creates productivity and quality problems in addition to major employee dissatisfaction. Concepts such as standard work, line balancing, total productive maintenance, and several other tools and concepts can be used to address Murray. As he began to develop what is now known as the Toyota production system, Taiichi Ono identified seven wastes that are considered muda. These wastes are all related. As you begin to identify examples of these wastes, you will see the relationships between them. Ono often would draw a circle on the factory floor and have newly hired engineers stand in the circle and write down as many wastes as they can observe. The wastes Ono identified were overproduction, waiting, transporting, inappropriate processing, excess inventory or storage, unnecessary or excess motion, and defects. Let's examine each of these wastes in some more detail. Overproduction is making or purchasing more product than what is required by the next downstream customer. Taichi Ono considered overproduction to be the chief waste because it amplifies all of the other wastes. As you make more of a product than what is required by the customer, the next job which might be needed is waiting. The overproduced product must be transported and stored in inventory until it sells. Waiting is a twofold waste. People can be waiting for tools, materials, information, etc. Product or information can be waiting. If you were to follow a product from when raw material to make that product is received to when the finished product ships to the customer, you will find that most of the time the material is waiting. Transportation is moving material or information. As we move a product from one area within a facility to another, the product is not any more valuable than it was before it was moved. Obviously, there must be some movement of material and information, but lean thinkers must work to minimize the amount of transportation. One useful way of thinking of transportation in terms of information is to consider handoffs between departments or individuals as a form of transportation. Inappropriate processing waste is waste within the actual manufacturing or administrative or business process itself. Examples include reworking or touching up products at the end of a process instead of getting it right the first time. Using equipment designed for large batches when we want to produce in small batches or one unit at a time. Using workarounds like a mallet to make two parts fit together. Redundant data entry into multiple electronic or paper-based systems. Excess inventory is defined as any product or information stored in quantities beyond what is actually needed. While inventory is an asset in accounting terms, it costs money to hold and takes up space. It does not make any real money until it is sold. In lean thinking, some inventory strategically placed at certain points within the value stream is necessary to support the customer. 
However, we want to minimize the amount of inventory overall and eliminate work in process altogether by creating flow. We do this through problem solving. Motion waste includes primarily walking, but also unsafe motion, such as bending, reaching, etc. A certain amount of motion is necessary to do the job. We must move to obtain tools, materials, and other items that we need to add value. In lean thinking, we work to minimize motion to as little as possible. We do this by placing all needed items at the point of use and eliminating any wasted time and motion spent searching for items. Now we come to defects. Defective product or information results in either rework, an inappropriate process, or scrap. Quality at the source is a pillar of the Toyota production system. In th lean thinking, we work to eliminate defects by mistake-proofing processes, preventing errors from occurring. James Womack and Daniel Jones identified an eighth waste in the book Lean Thinking, underutilizing employee ideas and creativity. Rather than simply asking our employees to assemble this product, operate this machine, or perform their task, we should be teaching them how to identify and eliminate waste and asking them to do it and empowering them to do it. No one knows a process better than the person who does it every day. So it makes sense to involve such people in continuous improvement. Get a group of employees together and take a walk through your process whether it's a manufacturing process, business process, healthcare process, or otherwise, and see how many of the seven wastes you can identify. Write them down and begin thinking through the process of identifying why they occur and eliminating those wastes.